So we'll talk about disease prevention and control of communicable disease. Okay. So what is communicable disease? It is any illness that you can catch or can be passed from one person to another. So, pwedeng makuha mo, pwedeng maipasa mo. It is an illness due to a specific infectious agent like bacteria, virus, uh, parasites, yan. Yan yung mga infectious agent. Or it's toxic products capable of being directly or indirectly transmitted from man to man animal to man, or from the environment, like air, dust, soil, water, and food. Now, kung ikaw ay napasahan, nakakuha na ng sakit, so, kapag naka-experience naka ka ng symptoms, you are infected. Infection, nagkaroon ka na ng infection. So, when we say infection, it is an invasion of microorganisms into the body that are capable of producing a disease. So, that is infection. Kapag nakaranas ka, naka-experience ka ng mga symptoms of disease, you are infected of the infectious agent, such as bacteria, virus. Okay, now, let's talk about the contact or mode of transmission. So, it is the most common form of transmitting disease and virus. So, there are two types of contact or mode of transmission, the direct and indirect. So, what is direct contact transmission? It occurs when there is physical contact between an infected person and a susceptible person. So, kung makikita niyo itong picture na yan, ayan. So, itong na bumahing, ayan, bumahing na yan, yung may sakit, siya yung tinatawag nating infected person. So, itong shake hands nga na ito na may backpack, siya yung susceptible person. Siya yung maaaring mahawaan or makakuha ng sakit ni infected person. So, that is direct contact. So, nag-shake hands sila, may man to man or human to human contact. So, direct contact ang tawag doon. Now, when we say indirect contact transmission, it occurs when there is no direct human-to-human -human contact, hindi nagharap. Okay? So, contact occurs from a reservoir or ito yung storage or pinagtataguan ng virus or ng mga infectious agent to contaminated surface or objects. Pwedeng ball pen, pwedeng hinawakan niyang baso o inam inaman niyang baso, di ba? Hinawakan niyang gamit or bagay, pwede yun. Or, to vectors, Yan yung mga mosquitoes, flies, mites, fleas, tricks, ticks, rodents, or dogs. Sa dogs niyo halimbawa, sa mga balahibo ng asin niyo, may mga kumapit na mga parasites or mga bacteria or virus na tas hiniyakap-yakap niyo asin niyo, pwede niyo makuha yung infectious agents. Okay? Now, oh, okay, dun, another is yung mosquitoes. Ayan, dengue. Diba? ba? Now, dito naman tayo, let's talk about the chain of infection. So, there are six, yan. Paano mo siya masabi na chain? Yung duktong kadena, chain. So, let's start first with the infectious agent. Yan yung pathogen. So, yan yung pathogen. Ano ba yung mga pathogen na yan? Yan yung bacteria, virus, fungi, parasite. Sila yung mga salarin kung bakit nagkakaroon ng disease or bakit nagkakaroon ng tinatawag na communicable disease. Now, so paano siya makakahawa? Siyempre, si bacteria, virus, fungi, ito yung mga pathogens na yan, pupunta sila sa isang paglalagian nila or tinatawag na reservoir, storage, or saan sila pwedeng mamalagi muna bago makahawa or mag-transfer sa ibang tao. So, so siyempre, uh, ito yung tinatawag na rin reservoir. Ano yung storage, reservoir? Yan yung mga tao, tayo. Pwede na magtatago sa ating lungs. Yan. Sa anima, soil, food, water. So, reservoir, storage, kung saan sila nag stay Now, paano siya makaka-transmit? Paano siya makakapangpahawa? Siyempre, lalabas siya dun sa reservoir using the portal of exit. So, by coughing, sneezing, or bodily secretion, sa pag-ihi, sa pag-dumi. So, nabawa, bumahing ka. 
portal of exit na yun, nakalabas na si virus, nakalabas na yung pathogen doon sa reservoir niya, sa tao. Pagbahing niya, dyan na, dyan, yan yung tinatawag na ding mode of transmission. It's either nakipag-shake hands ka or pagbahing mo, talagang lumipad yung virus, nasa, na, nasinghot through portal of entry. Yan, portal of entry, like mouth, nose, pumasok sa mouth, sa nose, sa eyes, or kahit sa mga sugat. Yan yung portal of entry. And then, sino yung mahawaan? Sino yung napasukan? Sino yung may portal of entry? Yun si susceptible host. Sino yun? Tayo po yun. Anyone. Matanda, bata, or kahit may mga sakit, or mga immunocompromise. So, yung mga ma madalas mahawaan, talagang mabilis ma-infect ng mga gantong disease, yun yung mga tao na mahina yung immune system. So, paano nilalakas yung immune system? Of course, kailangan you need vitamins, you need, lock, uh, you need lots of sleep, huwag magpuyat, drink lots of water, at least 2 liters sa isang araw. So, yun po, para lumakas yung immune system. Okay, so that is the chain of infection. Nagsimula sa pathogen, reservoir, portal of exit, ito yung pagkakasunod-sunod, mode of transmission, portal of entry, and then susceptible host. Now, news today. Recently, another communicable disease hit the world by its pandemic called COVID-19. Although, hindi ito yung pinakaunang communicable disease na umatake sa mundo. Marami pa mga disease, pero ito talaga yung recent. Ito yung famous sa panahon ngayon. So, ang tawag dito ay COVID-19. Uh, ito yung disease na umatake sa bansa natin. So, pandemic nga kung tawagin. Called COVID-19, a disease caused by a new strain of coronavirus. Yung CO stands for Corona, V for virus, and D for disease. Formerly, this disease was referred to as 2019 novel coronavirus or 2019 NCOV or COVID-19. Currently, evidence suggests that COVID-19 spreads between People through direct, indirect, ito yung through contaminated objects or surface, paghawak ng mga bone pain, ayan mga gamit na ginamit ng infected person or close contact with infected people by a mouth and nose secretions. So this includes saliva, respiratory secretions, or secretion droplets. So yun po, kaya nga sabi, talagang required ngayon sa panahon ngayon mag-wear ng mask and face shield. So, most common communicable diseases. So, ano ba yung mga common communicable diseases? Ito po yung mabilis makahawa. Sabihin na natin na may sintomas ka ng COVID, pero hindi siya COVID. Pwedeng ubo, sipon lang, or trangkaso. So, yun yung mga common or common na nakakahawa. Okay, like measles. Diba? Measles. Ano yung measles sa Tagalog? Measles, Tagalog, Tigdas. Okay. So like Tigdas, chicken pox, ano pa, trangkaso fever, lagnat, ano pa ba yung mga common? Yung mga kuto, nakakahawa yan, mga lisa, nakakahawa din yan, lalo na pag tag-init. Diba? Okay. So again, communicable disease refer to diseases that can be transmitted from one organism to another and make people ill. They are caused by infective agents called pathogens. Include viruses, bacteria, fungi, and parasites which invade the host or the human or animal and multiply or release toxins to cause damages to normal body cells and their function. Now, in severe cases, it may lead to death. Pag hindi naagapan. Disinfective agents can spread from a source infection, yung patient, patients, yung pasyente, or the sick animals, to a person through various routes of transmission. So, pwede nakuha niya saan? O, saan niya nakuha? Dahil humamak siya sa object na hinawakan ng infected agent or through air. Ayan. 
or through sa kinain niya pagkain, sa inuman niya baso. So, yun yung mga various roots of transmission. Now, itong mga to, itong communicable disease na to, kung hindi siya talaga maagapan, kung hindi naman siya nabigyan ng action medical, pwede siya mag-lead also into non-communicable. Ano yung mga non-communicable disease? Yan yung disease such as heart disease, cancer, or diabetes mellitus. So, which are not caused by infectious agents and are not transmitted between people, pero pwede siya maging cause, maging cause yung communicable disease. For example, uh, ubo si Poon, ubo, ayan. Sobrang ubo ng ubo, hindi niya na alam. Bacteria, nagkaroon siya ng bacteria sa lungs niya, ubo ng ubo, pero hindi nagagamot. Pwede siya maging cause ng heart disease kasi hindi lang yung lungs niya ang na-infect ng bacteria. Pwede yung bacteria niya ay mag-move sa kanyang heart na maging cause ng heart disease. And also, pwede maging cause ng cancer. Ayan. So, yun yung tatawag na non-communicable. Yung hindi naman nakakahawa yan yung heart disease, cancer. Pwede, pero pwede pa rin naging dahilan yung mga communicable disease kung bakit nagkaroon ng non-communicable disease. And this non-communicable disease like diabetes, cancer, heart disease, pwede rin po siya. Isang factor yan yung genetic or namamana. Okay? Now, let's talk about the preventive healthful practices. So, you need to follow these tips to decrease the risk of disease and infection. Although, hindi siya 100% na magiging effective, pero mababawasan yung risk of disease and infection. First, of course, wash your hands. This is especially important before and after preparing food, before eating, and after using the toilet. And try not to touch your eyes, nose, or mouth kasi yan po yung portal of entry. Yan, madbilis makapasok yung mga infectious agents. So, sabi nga, that's a common way germs enter the body. So, wash your hands. Sabi nga, kumunta ka ng happy birthday song, 20 seconds. Wash your hands. Ayan, siguraduhin may sabon. Safeguard. So, no human contact. So, sabi, adapt proper isolation for the sick. Meron kayong nakita na may sakit, layo mo na. Wala mo nang dikit-dikit, wala mo nang beso-beso, one meter apart. Okay, get vaccinated. Vaccination can drastically reduce your chances of contracting many diseases. Make sure to keep up to date on your recommended vaccination. Tayo ng bata tayo. Baby kayo, meron kayong vaccine. And then the vaccine, nagkakaroon tayo ng reaction. Nagkakaroon ng reaction yung katawan natin sa mga immunization na binibigay sa atin. Especially, kapag yung immunization or yung vaccine na yun is mataas yung dosage, nagkakaroon ng reaction yung katawan. Like, nagkakaroon ng lagnat, diba? tumatagal na hanggang tatlong araw, ganyan. So, that's a normal reaction of the body. Okay? So, next is stay home when ill. Siyempre kapag may sakit, sa bahay ka na lang, huwag ka nang gala ng gala. For example, kung tayo ay nasa normal schooling, sabi, pag may nararamdaman ka na, don't go to school. Kung ikaw ay nasusuka, kung ikaw ay nagdudumi, may diarrhea or fever, kasi there is a possibility na makahawa ka sa ibang mga classmates mo. And of course, ito, cover. Kaya nga may face mask, may face shield. Cover your mouth and nose especially when sneezing or coughing. Next, maintain good indoor ventilation. Sabi nga, avoid yung mga, please avoid yung mga, uh, yes, Asha, may sinasabihin ka ba? You're raising your hands? Wala naman. Okay, maintain good indoor ventilation. Avoid yung mga kulog na lugar. Halimbawa, sarado bintana, sarado ang... Ano, pintuan, lahat na talagang kulog na kulog. Pakiiwasan, sabi dapat, good indoor ventilation. Kasi kapag kulog ang lugar, there is a possibility na umiikot lang dyan yung virus. Walang hangin na pumapasok. Mabilis ka may, may infect ng infectious disease. Okay? And clean and disinfect properly the surroundings. Maintain also environmental hygiene to prevent the breeding of mosquitoes para maiwasan ang dengue or insects. Take personal protection to prevent mosquito or insect bites. Prepare food safely. Ayan, syempre, yan yung mga kinakain natin. Kailangan prepare ng 
food safely. Keep counters and other kitchen surfaces clean when preparing meals. Ensure all foods are adequately cooked. Don't share personal items. Ayan. Next is don't share personal items. Sabi nga natin, sharing is caring. Pero, pag personal items, huwag mo muna i-share. Huwag mo i-share. Halimbawa, damit, towel, toothbrush, and other personal items. And also, avoid sharing drinking glasses and dining utensils. Okay? And travel wisely. Hindi naman sinabing travel wisely, mag-travel ka, mamasyal ka, hindi. So, when you feel you're ill, if you feel unwell, seek medical advice immediately. Seek medical advice, seek doctors. Today, okay. goodbye everyone. Thank you and always keep learning. Goodbye.